Hey everybody, welcome to the Hamakua Homestead. My name is Tiffany and today is a very exciting day. We have been invited to participate in a collaboration. This has been put on by Renee over at Pike Creek Farms. She is putting together a collaboration called the 12 Days of Christmas Indulgence. So you're going to be getting 25 different channels that are going to be putting on videos from the 5th through the 16th of December. You're gonna get at least two videos a day that you can get inspired from, and you can go ahead and use these recipes in your everyday cooking throughout the month, your holiday stuff, anything you like. Also, at the end of the collaboration, Renee is going to be doing a live giveaway. So be sure to go ahead and comment on each one of these videos. Each comment that you put on all of these videos is an entry to win the prize at the end of the collaboration. Today we are going to be making cinnamon rolls with a Lily Koi glaze. Sorry, the pressure can is going and it's too loud. Honestly, I thought that I would have a little bit more time to get the dough prepared before that noise started, but it's going strong. So the first step, we're just gonna go ahead and get our basic dough ready. It is going to consist of very few items. We have warm milk, yeast, granulated sugar, one egg plus one egg yolk, butter, flour, and salt. So I'm going to go ahead and get that mixed up real quick and we'll get our bread right. It has been about an hour and a half. Our dough has risen. It has doubled in size for sure. So now we're going to transfer our dough ball onto a well floured surface and roll it out to its correct size. So I think that spread out a little too easily. We are needing it to be a little uh, more narrow. So I'm gonna experiment like this. That I think is going to work 
Now we are going to go ahead and spread out our butter on top of it. We're just going to butter the entire thing, but we're gonna leave a little space just on the edge, about a quarter of an inch or so. This is my favorite type of butter. It's the grass-fed good stuff. Oh, it has such amazing flavor. In a bowl separately, we are going for two thirds cup of brown sugar. I'm estimating here because I don't have a third measuring cup. That should be about right. And one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. We're just gonna go ahead and combine this. We're just gonna go ahead and spread it out all over. So now we're gonna go ahead and roll it up. This might be the tricky part. I've never made cinnamon rolls before. So we're gonna give it our best effort. There we go, that worked. Okay. Ideally, we were looking for a nine by nine, but I don't have one. So we're going with this. It's gonna work out, it'll be all right. Don't fear, don't fear, it's gonna be all right. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut it. We're gonna cut the end off because it's not gonna have the mixture as much as we want. And then we're gonna cut it into one inch pieces. They're looking pretty good. So now we're just going to put them into our pan. I think the way this worked out, this pan size is actually going to be pretty appropriate. And we'll go ahead and stick our ends in there too. Don't want to waste. Hi, honey. I love you. I love you. Now that we have our cinnamon rolls in our pan, we are going to once again cover it with saran wrap and then we're going to let it rise for another 30 to 45 minutes before we pop it in the oven. While our cinnamon rolls are rising, we're going to go ahead and make the topping. I was going to originally just do a Lilikoi drizzle, but there has been a request for a cream cheese topping with a Lilikoi drizzle on top of that. So we're gonna give it a go. All right, so for our cream cheese frosting, we are starting out with four ounces of room temperature cream cheese, three tablespoons of softened butter, it's approximate, of course. Three quarter cup of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Beat until fluffy. Looks fluffy but we still need to put our cinnamon rolls in the oven, so hopefully we won't have to re-fluff it, but we'll find out. Our cinnamon rolls have risen. They have expanded quite a bit, as you can see. So now we're gonna go ahead and pop these into a 350 degree oven for 25, 25 to 30 minutes. All right, so our cinnamon rolls have been baking for about 30 minutes. I turned off the oven and I'm going to just let them sit there for a few more minutes. And now it's time to make our Lily Boy drizzle. Glaze. Drizzle. Glaze. 
whichever. So I'm gonna bring you down and show you what we're gonna do for that. Quarter cup water and half a cup of sugar. We're going to go ahead and let this dissolve and come to a boil. We're gonna let this boil on a medium heat for about five minutes. All right, so our sugar and water has been boiling for about five minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of lily koi juice and the juice from half a lemon. Now we're gonna go ahead and allow this to boil for another 30, uh, another three minutes and the recipe does say that it will expand and seem kind of funny so i'll bring you back and show you what it looks like in three minutes okay okay i don't know maybe i should just take these upstairs so nobody sees them. <laughs> <laughs> we have our cinnamon rolls pulled out of the oven they are looking quite fluffy and nice um, our lily koi is over here doing its last boil, so I figured I would go ahead and put our cream cheese mixture right on top. Ooh, that's kind of satisfying. Still nice and hot, so that's good. It's so melty and satisfying, oh my goodness. So we're just gonna let our cinnamon rolls chill out for just a minute. We're gonna let our lily koi drizzle chill out for a minute before we drizzle it on top. All right, so our syrup is cooled down. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle it on top real quick. We have our resident taste tester ready for our cinnamon rolls. If you guys don't already know, this is my sweetheart Scott, and he has so graciously decided that he wants to try these cinnamon rolls. I was afraid they might turn out a little bit on the dry side. Is that true? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. The icing still hot, so it's hard to say what they'll do, but no, I don't think they're gonna be dry. And these are the, the outer part. I haven't even gotten to the center part of the snail. <laughs> the good part. I'm gonna give this one to our off-camera taste tester. <laughs> Excellent. But everything's good on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so there's our recipe for our Lily Koi glazed cinnamon rolls. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to go over to all the other channels that are participating in this collaboration. Don't forget to go check out Renee over at Pike Creek Farm. She is putting together this collaboration and also she is doing a giveaway at the end of it. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamakua Homestead. I'll see you again soon.